All right, guys, so today we have something brand new. We have MXGP 2019. It is, I'm kind of torn because, yes, it does have some improvements. It's not just recycled MXGP Pro, but it does have a lot of uh, reuse from all the way back in Supercross 1. Uh, a lot of the face models for the custom riders and the, the font for the name and the number on the back of the jersey and how you can make it bigger and smaller and uh, a lot of that stuff is reused. A lot of the gear and graphics kits and stuff like that is still reused from two, three, four titles uh, before. It's just, it kind of reminds me of EA and Madden. You know, Madden 2019 and 2020 and 2020 were practically the same game. I mean, the face models were the same, similar to this. I know it's not like a big deal because I don't really care, but I don't know, just the reuse of gear over and over again the face models and all that stuff is just kind of uh, kind of a bummer. But the gameplay itself is better, is improved. Uh, in my opinion, people that really loved Pro might not feel the same way, but we'll talk about that more when we get into it. So let's jump into this and see how good MXGP 2019 really is. All right, guys, so we have a few things to check out here. Quick modes is where we're probably going to go first. Playground, maybe eventually in this video. Track editor, we will take a look at in its own video, multiplayer, customization, maybe in this video too, and then notifications, we don't have any. So we'll jump into here, and then you can do a just a single race, time attack, or championship. I've actually been working on championship to get credits. I have basically nothing. I haven't played too much. I maybe played, oh, I'd say about an hour and a half. So we'll go into here, and then we can set it up like normal. Rider, I think we're gonna do, okay. I haven't messed around on the 450s yet. So we're gonna start in the MX2. Use a pro rider. Whoops. Oh, didn't even notice that. Okay, so I have only rode Argentina and Great Britain. That's it. I haven't been on any other ones, and I will try to show you because uh, it's really weird. The terrain deformation and the way the ruts work feel completely different on these two tracks. I'll try to show you that in this video. So uh, probably do these two tracks just to show you, and then maybe mess around on a few other ones. So. Uh, let's start here. I don't know if we'll do a full race, but uh, yeah. So there, and then the race options. So you have your, it's, it's similar to how it always is. Single, quick, put it on realistic, and then I have, uh, you know, the basically the pro physics. Rewind off. I don't believe that having the AI higher gives you more credits. At least it doesn't feel like that. So if you're just trying to grind and don't want to battle the AI, because I do feel like the AI is a bit tougher, you can just put it on easy. And let's start this. All right, guys, so I chose a pro rider because I don't have a bike that is upgraded yet. I will show you the bike setup. Very similar to how it was in pro. Kind of a reuse, but, you know, at least you have more options for how you want to, how you want to play in the game. But basically, it's from MXGP Pro. And then you can save it here. And go to the track. Now, I do want to show you this track and Great Britain because they are very different. Uh, they play different. And you'll see what I mean when we get there. No, we tried to time the gate. Mistake. Let's see if we can kind of let off here. Cut underneath of them a bit. Now we're going to get pushed wide. Oh, um, not that bad. We will show you the whip yet. So let me see if I can get away from some of these guys. We are unrealistic. The AI is, uh, they're okay. I wouldn't say they're a lot better than they have been in the past, but they're okay. 
Ooh, he reset himself. He tried cheating. He tried cheating. If we're on a stock bike, it's a bit harder. Oh, we got over that nice. The bike, it does feel heavier. It feels heavier. And I'm okay with that. Feels uh, more grounded. You can square off corners a lot more so than you ever have been able to, I feel like. Uh, it's very apparent. I'll show you here. Before the finish line, you can do it really good. It is a bit... Um, well, you'll see. So you can really square off a corner, and then he does that animation, kind of. But he doesn't... It, it's, it's not that easy to crash. And I'm okay with that. It feels a, a, a little more arcade. I don't know if that's the right word, because it, it still feels good. It still feels like a milestone game, but it is... It feels different than Pro, for sure. It definitely feels different than Pro. I forgot to whip. I was going to whip there. But it feels even... I mean, not that Milestone games have been floaty, but this game feels even less so than ever before. Yeah, it's actually kind of hard to get over some stuff for me, and I don't have a lot of playtime, so if you're watching this video much later, yeah, I, I mean... Maybe I learned something after playing, you know, for a while, but... This is just first impressions. Don't go off the track. That corner is really tough. There you kind of see the whip. And you can land it sideways. I mean, if you did that in Pro, you were down. Pro was a little bit more realistic in how you crashed. But I felt like for me, and I know a lot of guys that really defend Pro disagree. But I felt like Pro had a lot of inconsistencies in it as far as when you crash sometimes I went down and I didn't really feel like there were like I didn't know why oh we're battling we're battling two laps left baby uh, but that's why I want to show you Great Britain because that track you'll see what I mean it doesn't feel like you're getting a lot of the ruts here the ruts, it just kind of feels like I can ride in between them and it's not really a big deal. But at Great Britain, uh, that track is way more rough and you really feel the ruts. And when you carve a line, you kind of have to get into that line. All right, we're good here. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. We might be in trouble, guys. We had the win, but we were trying to show you the whip. Had we not shown you the whip, we would be in the lead. Yeah, but here... I mean, okay. So, if you... I don't want to say this. If you try to square off... If you try to square off a corner at uh, Great Britain... It's not going to work as good as it does here. Especially, we're going to try and put some weather effects on it too. Because I feel like the the weather conditions definitely are affecting the game more than in the past. You'll see what I mean, hopefully. It's going to be a tough last lap. I'm going to go into try hard mode because I want to win. I need those credits. We need to upgrade our custom rider. Oh. I mean, we kind of scrub that actually. But I don't know if it looks better than it does in uh, Supercross. Oh, he's off the track. Oh, but no. Oh, he's got the inside too. Doesn't matter. No. Oh, 
Well, there we finally got over it. What? I can't believe that I did that. That might have been our chance, guys. I think that was it. We might have to settle for just a podium. Well, there you go. You can kind of control it so you can bring it back in the, the finished screen. So, yes, I there you kind of see... Uh, Argentina and a dry track and now we're gonna go to uh, Great Britain and uh, show you uh, the differences in what I was talking about with the train deformation and the ruts okay so we are at uh, Great Britain head to the track and I want to show you this because I do have uh, weather conditions on so it should start out muddy here and then uh, go to rain for maybe the last uh, two laps it's really nasty. Still a good start. We need the good start. We had the lead for a second. That's probably the best we're going to look here, guys, because after this lap, it is going to get nasty. Super nasty. So we can still do that because it's the opening lap. But you will see here, the ruts are going to start to affect us a lot. You can see how close he really is. I mean, just the track in general, I feel like is really, really nasty. Really tough track. Struggling there. Oh man, it is so hard to be in the ruts too. You have to be in the ruts. I've easily went down from cross rutting it's so tough here, so different than Argentina, and I love it. But I know people were worried about the terrain deformation. I mean, it's not exactly where I would want it to be, but it, it's different, it's there. It's definitely there. He's still all over us. Probably because we're not in the right gear most of the time. But at least we led one lap. This corner is a nightmare. So easy to go down here, but we're in the lead. Okay, here we go. I already feel it. My controller is going crazy as we're going over those uh, these ruts. Kind of got into one there. You can see it does take a few laps for the main line to start to form there. We almost went down. Kind of got into that one. You just have to go a bit slower than you're used to. Ah, I can't get the bike to turn. Okay, I don't know how we're still in the lead. We're actually kind of getting in the ruts, but like I said, a couple laps go by. You can see the two main lines here, right? You could kind of see them coming down the hill. I mean, we didn't really get into it, but you could see them kind of in it really hard to get into the the rut there oh no I knew that was gonna happen I knew it dude we were winning nice call captain obvious yes we were winning now we're gonna now everything's falling apart 
I was so into it. Ooh, a little bit of stutter there. I don't... I'm not okay with that. Kind of got into the rut. He kind of pushed us out of the way. I mean, my control is vibrating like crazy. It's just like you can feel it when you're uh, going over all those ruts. If you're not getting into the one you should be, you can feel it. There was a bit better. Okay, he went off track. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So it definitely is noticeable. I love it. It makes the game so much tougher. And it makes it, you know, I haven't rode the track dry. So I don't know how bad it gets when it's not raining. But if raining and mud make it realistically this much more difficult, I would use weather conditions more often. For sure. See, there we got into it. It wasn't as bad. Just have to ride the track a bit slower. Kind of messed up that corner. Oh, guys, top four. I'm okay with this. I know I've got fi uh, fifth right behind me. Oh, ooh, right in front of me. Oh, there's sixth. Try and stay out of the ruts a bit. Oh no, oh no. Oh, we have two, I thought we were on the final lap. Oh, nice. Take it easy. Ah, oh, he's all over us, we're, we're ways behind here. Okay, ooh. We got some traction there in this mud, but see, we switched to rain. Now, I do feel like the rain is a bit less annoying than it has been. Oh no, I wanted that inside and I didn't get it. Luckily, he didn't get by us. It's so hard to ride the track. It just feels so different from anything I'm used to. With a milestone games! And everybody goes by. Everybody's not, no spread out. Everybody's right next to each other. So when you go down, you lose like 20 positions. Dude, guys, we were doing really good. I felt like pretty good about that, actually. I still feel pretty good about it. Even if we're not having a good run right now, I still feel pretty good about it. This is about as good as I've ever done in the short period of time of playing the game in the rain and mud here at uh, Great Britain. We almost went down again. I'm trying, man. I'm, I'm definitely trying my best to stay in uh, my line here. But it is not easy. Uh, Mid-pack, still all right. Maybe we get lucky and have a really awesome lap. We need those credits. Kind of got into it, kind of. A little bit. This corner is one of the toughest. Oh, no! Oh, the track is so nasty. Oh, don't go outside. That was worse. Oh. Kind of want to take the inside here, but... I wouldn't say that's a lot faster. I want to get you back. There's so many of them right here. It's so tempting to push too hard. 
Oh my gosh, there's so many guys here. Unbelievable. Well, somehow we're 10th. No, 11th. Oh, we both passed a guy. Okay, Let's see. Stay out of the ruts. Yes, yes. Oh, don't cut the track. We can get inside the top 10. I'm in try hard mode, guys. Sorry. I really, 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 really want this. Because this is so tough. It's really, really... I don't know. It's kind of competitive. I love it. Against the AI. Oh, no. Barring any mistakes. Get out of here. Top 10, baby. That's worth a victory whip. Worth a victory whip in my book. Uh, woo, that was tough. That was really tough. But uh, there you can uh, kind of see that the ruts and the terrain deformation, for me at least, I notice it is way more noticeable. Uh, one, when it's uh, muddy and raining, obviously, so it is a bit more realistic. Maybe it's just Great Britain that is just rougher than Argentina. I haven't tried Great Britain dry yet, so I'll have to do that. But uh, overall, they did add some better terrain deformation or similar terrain deformation, but you feel it more. You really kind of have to try to get into that main uh, race line rut or you can easily cross rut going up the face of a jump down a straightaway. I've had it happen multiple times there. So interesting, but uh, let's jump into a free ride or time attack and kind of play around with the whips. All right, guys, so we are at the compound, the playground. Uh, the map has, uh, let's see, we have three tracks and a bunch of stuff to check out. What I want to do, well, no, we're here. I want to do it. Okay, so I want to go up here because I want to see if I can jump this bridge. I need to know. Okay, where is it? Down, oh, right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that wasn't as uh, cool as I was hoping it was going to be. Oh, wait. That's part of the track. I think we go this way. So that was part of the track. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Feels like it's this way. Love the elevation change here. No, I don't feel like this is right. I feel like it's this way. Actually, no. I'm pretty sure we were doing it right. Is this the start, then? Yeah, here's the start. Obviously. Okay, so we could run it. Let's just do it this way. Let's check it out. See what it's about. Now, I haven't been on the, the playground yet. So this is all new to me. I'm just assuming that shouldn't be too much. I love the elevation change. Oh, this is nice. And I'm glad it's not DLC. It was added in the game unlike, uh, what was that, Supercross 1? That the compound was added DLC. Oh, you could jump all the way to here. This track is sick. Oh my gosh. Might be the best track so far. I mean, I've only been on a couple, but... And the the lighting I have on a day-night cycle. It can rain or do anything in the compound. Uh, we got a little sketchy there. This track is insane. Oh, oh, here we are. Here. Oh! Wait, why is it doing this? Why would you put me that way? It's this way, bro. 
There we go, jumping the bridge. It would have been cool if that was a bit bigger. But it's more realistic size there. Over jump. And here we are back where we started. Oh, we should do that. Yeah, we should mess around with the whip a little bit. Okay, ooh, it feels very much like uh, Supercross. You can kind of whip it in. You can kind of... It's a little bit more free than it was, but I mean, it's the same. It's, it's pretty much the same as in Supercross. Find another... Actually... Where are we? Okay, so we need to go. I wish I could fast travel the stuff. Okay, so take a left. All right, so there was probably some edit in there because I was definitely very messed up. I went off track and then had trouble getting back to the where we should have been here. So, uh, yeah, we'll just start the lap here. This is insane. This These hills are nasty. They are so nasty. Somewhere in here, really easy to go off track. I don't want to do that. I think it's coming up here. It's so hilly. I love the elevation change. Maybe here? Or no, maybe it's here. Somewhere is really easy to go off track. Right here it was. Oh no, 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 not here. Taking it easy because I've never been here yet. I didn't uh, pre-ride the tracks or the playground before jumping into this video, so bear with me. Okay, we went off track here before too. You can see, see our uh, lines there. Don't take that line. And it is the first time we were on the 450. We've only been on the 250 so far. Okay, I went off the track somewhere else here too. I don't want to do that again. Actually, we might be getting kind of by where we started. Yeah, right here. Okay, so there we have that. I love the elevation change. Now... Okay, a little bit to the left. Okay, let's go check out that one. I wish you could fast travel, right? I mean, that would be pretty awesome. Left. There is a ton of stuff to explore here. We might not get to all of it, but there's a lot. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I see you. I see you. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. Um, what? I think that, I think, it was kind of weird. Oh, that's supposed to be a double, double, double. Okay, we'll have to learn this. Might take a minute. Kind of a super cross style track. Maybe that's a triple. It doesn't feel like it. Roll this. Send it. No, just a little table. Kind of whoops. On to nothing. Okay. Step on, step off. Okay. To what I would say, just uh, rollers, I guess. Cuts it back across it, so uh, across the start straight a bunch. Got a dragon's back here. These corners are way different too. Triple. Triple. Here we go. Kind of messed this section up, but whatever. And we are back. Do we've already been through this? So this was a, yeah, this was where I said it was a double, double, double. Okay, so that is the three tracks. 
Okay. I'm a sucker for motocross games. I will say that some of the things that they have done in this game feel a little bit like EA because it's a reuse of a lot of the faces that they had from it's like a reuse of a lot of the faces from Supercross 1 the fonts for the jersey are all the same uh, a lot of the gear and the bike customizations are the same I mean they have really in-depth customization but it doesn't feel like it's really changed very much over since what MXGP2 now I'm not saying I'm not hating on it so if you're just this huge defender of milestone don't misunderstand me I'm not hating on it I love their customization I just think it could be updated I think that throwing in the same generic custom rider faces and features is not good enough that you've had the same thing for three or four years now I think that the bike setup from MXGP Pro is basically the same as it is in MXGP 2019 I think that the graphics are better they keep improving so milestone you are a master of graphics you really are master I love it so good we're in trouble yeah that was not good they're a master of graphics so good at it the environments are amazing dude this compound is sick these tracks are amazing I mean the, the tracks wouldn't be as good if we didn't have the elevation change so since we have the elevation change, these tracks at the playground are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I love them. I love the terrain deformation uh, with weather conditions in the mud and rain. I feel like, for example, Great Britain was super nasty. Super, super nasty and gnarly. And Argentina wasn't as bad but you could feel the ruts and the terrain deformation at Great Britain as opposed to Argentina I really enjoyed that I think that was definitely a step in the right direction the bike sounds are always fairly good to me I never really have a problem with the bike sounds uh, I don't know I'm just trying to think offhand I haven't checked out the track editor but I have a feeling that it's gonna be similar to Supercross just don't see it being that much different but I could be wrong. You know, you never know. We'll have to see. Uh, it's not a full review. This is just a first impressions review, how I feel about it. I feel like the controls of the bike are better than they were in Pro, but yet at the same time, a little bit more arcade. Because like I said here, uh, I, I did show it a lot if you didn't see it. You can kind of just square stuff off really easy. I mean, that wasn't the greatest example, I know. Uh, you can kind of come in here and really square stuff off I mean we crashed there we got on the throttle a bit too early but it's really easy to square stuff off and not crash I have hit some really uh, wonky lines and not went down so you don't crash as easy I feel like a lot of people will probably enjoy that but the hardcore this is kinda like waypoint but the hardcore MXGP Pro Defenders might not and I get it. Hey, you can't make everybody happy, but uh, overall, I feel like it's better than pro. But the improvements of this game are very, very minor. I mean, if it sells for, I don't know, if it'll be 50 or 60, but I just don't know. I, I don't know if the improvements are enough to weigh that price tag. Adding in this amazing playground was a huge improvement. Adding in Track Editor, even if it's basic and similar to... Supercross is definitely improvement. We need elevation change, fellas. We need it. And they know that. They they know that we need it. Uh, and it doesn't sound like it's there. I haven't checked it out yet. Maybe they added it, but it doesn't sound like it's going to be there. But it might be in the next title. So they added Track Editor. That's another improvement. The graphics are updated. Definitely improvement. I feel like the, the controls of the bike and rider are slightly improved. It feels similar to Supercross 2. I mean, it should. It feels very similar to Supercross 2. So I feel like it's a minor improvement. 
the gear is not improved. I don't feel like that is it's not good enough. The customization is not good enough. The the faces and the the font that you can use on your own guy isn't good enough. The settings for the bike before the race is basically MXGP Pro. I feel like that was a reuse. Uh, but I mean, overall, it definitely is improved. It's definitely improved. I just don't know how much improved yet. But uh, so far, it's it's really not as bad. I mean, there are some things that are bothering me, and any game that makes me uh, relate it slightly to EA and Madden is never a good thing. But overall, I feel like they definitely. I mean, they have added more to this game than EA does to Madden. We just have to keep playing and see how the track editor editor is, how the waypoint is. And really kind of take a deeper dive into customization, but I kind of feel like it's going to be not uh, not as good as I'd hoped it would be. So there you go. This is the first impressions review, how I feel about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I believe this uh, you'll probably see this video around the time the game comes out. So if you happen to buy it uh, and you play it, let me know in the comments how you feel about it. I mean, I'm not unhappy with it, but there, it definitely... Definitely needs a, a few things with it, but uh, overall, the terrain deformation and all that stuff, track editor, we'll see, the graphics. Definitely some of that is an improvement. So uh, you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.